In today's video, we're going to learn about GreenShot and how to use it for blogging. GreenShot is an open source image capture editing app that lets even the least design inclined content creator spruce up their content like a pro. It's worth mentioning, although the app is open source, it does cost $1.99 for Mac to cover costs. To use GreenShot, simply press print screen or whatever keybind you set in the preferences. Once you've done this, you can now drag out your mouse to select the area that you want to screenshot. As you drag it out, you'll be able to see the dimensions of the screenshot you're taking. It also has a nice feature that magnifies into the corner to make sure that you're not cutting anything off. Once you let go of your mouse, you'll be greeted with multiple options from save as to save directly. We should mention you don't get to choose the file name or file destination. These are all set with your default output settings in the preferences. You can also export it to different applications or even send it to your printer. Or if you want, you can upload it to Imgur. More often than not, though, you'll find yourself wanting to open it up in the image editor. So let's go ahead and do that. To the left are the tools you have access to, and the top is a hotbar with your traditional tools such as undo, print, save, and so on. Most users who need a screen cap app use it for one of three reasons. To annotate, crop, and create composite screenshots. Annotating screenshots comes in a wide variety of styles, but predominantly bloggers who write tutorials need shapes, lines, and arrows to indicate the most important part of images. Greenshot separates these into distinct tools, each nicely keybound to an easy to remember key press. When any one of these tools has been selected and used to annotate an image, a new toolbar will appear letting you control the fill color, the thickness of the exterior shape, color of the shape, and whether or not there is a drop shadow. It's also worth mentioning that arrow, counter, and speech bubble have options for start and end points, font size, font family, and or alignment respectively. For instance, counter is used for numbering, such as step-by-step -step instruction. Each click gives you a larger number. Other tools that you'll find useful as a blogger are at the bottom left-hand toolbar. This includes highlighter, which places a translucent color block over content you want to draw attention to, obfuscation, which is a pixelization slash blur tool, effects is a menu of various styles you can apply to the image, both for coloring and decoration, cropping is, well, cropping, rotation turns the entire image, and finally, resize adjusts the entire image's size. And that's really it. We've covered all of the basics of GreenShot. You now know how to take a screenshot, how to annotate it, and how to export it. Let's not forget that there are some downsides, but at the end of the day, GreenShot is free, except for Mac, and can dramatically improve the quality of your blog posts. For more information, check out the blog post linked in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.